Hey guys, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. This is in a series of videos on how to make a website. So if you're just popping in on this video, I would like I would suggest uh, clicking the screen and going back to the beginning because this is the hard tutorial and is only for advanced users who want the most control over their site. Um, today we're going to be using a, a domain name 000webhost.com. Um, so this provides basically a uh, somewhat dedicated server for you to host your website on um, and the thing is they don't uh, assume that you want to have like a website builder or something like that they don't care what you do on your website so long as it's not illegal obviously and doesn't uh, you know void their terms of service or not void but disobey their terms of service um, you can do whatever you want with the site you can upload all kinds of stuff um, and have you know the most control over it. They also provide you with a MySQL database, which is a way of storing dynamic dynamic data that comes in useful with uh, forums and stuff like that. So it's very useful for anything else that you might want to do. So go ahead and go to 000webhost.com. By the way, this site is very widely used for free websites. Um, it is free. You can pay for premium hosting if you want to. Um, but remember that the sites that you get from here will be very slow and will also be uh, able to be canceled at any time by them. So if you really are focusing on hosting a professional website, I would suggest going and buying a virtual private server or a dedicated server from a site like GoDaddy.com or another site that hosts uh, servers like that. And... Um, uh, just making your site on there. The downside of that is you would have to uh, know how to install things like Apache and stuff to a web server. Um, but if you're all good with that and it's very easy to do, you can go ahead and do that. Here it's Apache is already installed so you just have to upload the HTML files to the site. But again, you know, it's slow and if you're uh, doing something professional, definitely don't use this site. It's good for playing around though, obviously for free. So, now that I've got over that rant, um, let's go ahead and sign up. You can hit this, uh, go ahead and go to order now on the free hosting, and it will just take a few seconds to set up your website. Once you do, I'm already logged into the control panel here. Um, we can go and find the uh, FTP information. Again, FTP is File Transfer Protocol, and what that means is you can transfer files from and to the site and control the... Um, uh, site information. So we'll go ahead and click view FTP details and we can see here our FTP details. So we're going to get an FTP client like FileZilla. Um, if you don't know an FTP client just download this one or search Google for FTP client. Um, so we'll just copy the host name in, the username, and the password which is mine. And you can leave the port empty. It's port 21, but you don't have to enter that. Um, so you're going to see here a public underscore HTML folder. Um, basically, that is what uh, everybody sees when they connect to your site. And uh, if you go ahead and connect to my site, which is this that I've set up, it says your website is up and running, blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, so it's going to tell you to upload things to your public HTML folder. And we can see we have default.php. It says please delete that. Um, so we'll go ahead and delete the default.php and we're going to go ahead and upload our own website. I have the custom files for a website right here. Um, it's on my computer. I got this from templatemonster.com. I'll put a link in the description if you want to download it. But if you don't like this one or if you just want to make your own, uh, just search Google for free HTML website or you can, uh, if you are familiar with HTML, just create your own website. You're going to make sure you make an index.html which is the uh, site when everybody sees when they connect. So this is what it's going to look like. It's not an actual website yet. It's just the files on my computer. Um, and if you're really familiar with uh, websites and how they work, not what I wanted. Uh, yeah, you can uh, uh, edit the CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and that basically tells the website. All right, here's uh, the HTML tells it. Here's the text to put in. Here's what you know. All this stuff, here's the information, and the cascading style sheets tells it where to put it, what kind of text it should have, what kind of um, fonts, what kind of colors, everything like that. Um, and it also puts images in their place. So if you, we also have an image folder here. 
Uh, so we'll just open one of these. And you can see that these are bits of the image. So somewhere on this page, or on this website, there's that image. But it has to be in the folder. Where even is it? Um, for them, to, there it is. Okay, so that's that's the image that they're using. So that's in the images folder. And if you want to change a certain image, you can go ahead and edit that that image and re-upload it to the site. But before I go too far, we're going to go ahead and grab all these images. Again, link is in the description, and copy them to the public underscore HTML folder. It may take a while to uh, upload because again the servers are slow and there are a lot of files. But once it's uploaded, you should be able to refresh your website, and you will see uh, something that looks like this, or whatever website you're uploading. And yeah, so again, the uh, the template is free, just like the website. I wouldn't make you guys pay for anything. It's a free template monster demo kind of. Uh, they do have a lot of paid websites on there, but you don't have to pay for them if you don't want to. You're just you know trying something out with a demo. Um, if you want to, again, I said you can open up a notepad and make yourself an HTML file, although it probably wouldn't be as good as something you'd, like a template you'd find on the internet, like I have done here. But I'll show you how you edit the HTML and, you know, make it your own site. So it looks like it's all done. So I'll reload the site. And here we go. Now that site is up and running. So you could give this, this website out to other people. Like you can see it's very slow and they would get to this website. So, obviously this is not our website, this is Progress Business Company or something like that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and edit the HTML to what we want. Um, so let's go ahead and copy index.html to our documents. On the left side is what your computer is, and the right side is the server. So then go to our documents, which is where I placed that, and find index, should be in my documents. Thought I copied it over there. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, documents. And we will copy this over there. I can't tell it. Where did I even? I think I put it in here. Yep, index.html. So if we open that up again, that's just. So that's that it. That's the website without um, cascading style sheets. That's just the default information that. And then the CSS puts it in its place and colorizes it and makes it look all nice. So we'll open this. You can either click open with uh, Notepad or uh, if you install Notepad++, which is my favorite text editing. We can change things like the title, which show up right here. So we'll change that to EffectsDude79. Oops. Wow, I failed. 79, title. And then we'll change some of this stuff. So it says Progress Business Company. We'll change it to Lazy Business Company. Uh oh. Um, and then we'll click uh, Home, Welcome. We'll just leave that news stale, not fresh, stale. Services for me. Products, the worst. And we'll just leave that the same. I don't really care. Um, we'll just change a few things like uh, Powerful Analytics. Let's say we want to change that. So we'll go ahead and find Powerful Analytics. And we'll change it to I like pancakes. All right. Um, so you can go ahead and customize each page of the website. As you can see, each page has you know news. So if you click on the news button up here, it's going to transfer to news.html. Um, so you can edit that and have everything correspond to what you want. But after you edit it, you need to re-upload it to the site and replace the old one. I think I put it in the advance. All right. So we'll recopy that over and say yes. We want to overwrite it. And then if we reload our site. I apparently screwed up the HTML, so that's not helpful. Let's see. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I know it's safe. I don't need to scan it with virus. Uh, where did I even? <laughs> okay. Um, what was that? I don't even know what I did wrong here. Honestly, let's see here. Let me copy this over. Don't move. 
Oops, I mean... Let's open this up and see what I did wrong. Recopy this over here. Blah, 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 blah. Index. V. Let's change it back and see uh, see if I did something wrong with the title there because it looks like it's not showing up. This is a tricky thing about HTML. You get one thing wrong, you got to kind of go through, troubleshoot, find out what you did wrong. Okay, so apparently I didn't. Alright, so I messed up the title or something so it wasn't displaying the site, but now we see news stale services for me, products the worst, and I like pancakes. So there's how you go ahead and edit the site. Now let's say we wanted to add something like um uh if you wanted to add this website dot com slash um something slash pancakes. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a new directory and it would be pancakes alright so now we have a folder in here or we should let's see I think we have to refresh it or something like that oh it's not even doing it for me okay I'll just reconnect real quick sometimes you need to do that oops I meant files so, uh get the information again. So apparently it doesn't like to automatically update after uh, we do something like that. But if we close the program and open it, we should be able to reconnect and we should have that directory available to us. Public HTML. Nope, didn't create a pancakes folder. That's depressing. Create directory. Public HTML slash pancake slash okay there we go now created a pancakes folder alright so if we go inside the pancakes folder and let's say we copy our news news page over to pancakes and we rename it uh, index dot html then as soon as we go to alright so let's take a look at what news looks like so slash news.html but if we did, went to slash pancakes it would read the index.html in that folder and it would relink us to news so that's something you can use to add uh, like shortcuts if you wanted to just say hey go to my site.com slash okay apparently uh, we need CSS obviously so uh, I'd have to recopy all that over but let's just change this HTML real quick I don't want to do that. I'll just edit this HTML to the bare minimum, which is the title, and that would be the. Did we open the body? No, we didn't. Okay. Open up the body here. We'll type Hello, everyone. I am from Mars. Alright, we'll save that. So we have the very basic HTML there. And uh, that way it doesn't really need a, s a CSS for it because it doesn't use one. If we reload, oops, we reload slash pancakes, it should come up with, yeah, there we go. Alright, so now we have slash pancakes and that'll show the index.html from that folder. So that's how you can kind of set that up and go about setting your own website up. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them on the video. I'll be answering uh, as many questions as I can for a while. I'm on vacation right now. Um, but I did make a video for you guys because I love you. Um, no homo. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Setting up a website. Uh, so, again, questions, leave them in the comments below. If you uh, like these video tutorials, please leave a comment, a rating, thumbs up, etc. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.